What a night, what a night. Hi, I'm John Rambo, the director. Producer, and it, hey, um, just, we're just here to give a, a you know, this is an amazing <laughs> night, an incredible moment in our history of our show, a big changeover, and we're just so thrilled and honored to have uh, have you here tonight to enjoy this uh, this incredible performance. Oh my God, brilliant stuff! But what I have to do is I just have to thank so many people. So I'm going to do that really quick and quick, and then I'll turn it over to Bob, and he'll he'll give us a little fun, rousing little moment there at the end. <laughs> They also just to mention that Alan Silvestri's out there in the house too. <laughs> and, then, and then of course his genius songwriting partner Glenn Ballard is somewhere. He's either in his booth or he's out in the house somewhere. But give it up for Glenn Ballard. <laughs> so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna say a quick uh, and mention some names here. And this is the um, these incredible cast members that are that are uh, saying goodbye tonight. And we love them so dearly. Uh, it's so in, in, incredible. But I, I just going to start here. Just uh, uh, Shane O'Reardon and Shane. next group of actors, they were uh, with us in Manchester. They actually joined the company in 2019. They were with us since 2019. Rianne, Alain, where are you? Now? Catherine Pearson. Uh, Jamal Crawford, Jamal. to be one of our They were there in 2018 in the Dominion Theater in the little rehearsal studio uh, when we didn't know what we had and we were still putting it together. Glenn was furiously writing songs, walking into rehearsal. We didn't have a song yet and then he wrote incredibly, It Works, and played it for me at the piano and I totally freaked out and Roger went, oh my God, that's cool. So, um, but anyway, these four, they joined us and we literally wrote the show with them in mind. We did so much with them that our hearts just go out to them. Uh, Cedric Neal. Talk about uh, just a pro and an incredible. I, uh, I can't. I can't say enough about all of them. But Hugh Cole's amazing. Hugh. Our 
hero, the man who was there at the very first moment singing these songs with such vigor and such life, and I'm, I'm, we're just so blessed and honored to have had him in the show and do, did what he did. Ollie Dobson. <laughs> So the staying class is going to give flowers to the uh, leading the party class. Yeah, it's so sweet. That's incredible. Showing our love. We're showing our love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, there are some there are some other personnel that I just want to point out. Some personnel that I, that have just been so important to our show that are also. In, Parting us, I mean, hate to see them go, but they're very important to mention. Aaron Thompson, head of special effects. Yeah. Aaron, if you come out here and bow, Aaron, come out here and show your face, Aaron. She's incredible. Ollie Hancock and Pierce Gooding, they're lighting and video. Where's Aaron? Where's Ollie? Pierce, you heard Pierce? All right, anyway. There's so many crew members that are uh, hard work so hard, hard for us to win. There's also wardrobe and wigs that so many of us that keep the show going over the year. Everyone at the LW Theaters, thank you so much for everything that you do for us, especially the front of house team. Yeah. And there's one, uh, there's one very special person in, in my book who's leading that I just so respect and so admire, and he's going off. He's a stage manager, and he's going off to become a producer. So I told him to hire me. Josh Chalk, our deputy stage manager. Josh was with us at the very beginning, sitting at the console. And as you can imagine, it was really difficult to talk to show. Josh, if you can wave, you can't wave. He's up there in his little booth waiting to call things. Anyway, I'm going to turn it over to Bob, because he's going to talk way more interesting than I am. Thank you, Bob. Tonight marks the end of a chapter in a saga that began in 2006 when Bob Zemeckis and I had lunch with the gifted, incredible, composing, songwriting team of Alan Silvestri and Glenn Ballard. And we said, hey, let's put on a show. <laughs> <laughs> But what we know now is that this chapter has a very optimistic ending because it's only one in what we hope will be many, many more chapters to follow. Now these performers had gigantic shoes to fill. They had to fill the shoes of Michael J. Fox, Christopher Lord, <laughs> Leah Thompson and an absolutely incredible movie cast. And a lot of people said, impossible, it cannot be done. But 
under the guidance of the brilliant John Rando and the Don, our Domino's producer, Colin Ingram. Everybody took Doc Brown's advice and they put their minds to it. Not only did they put their minds to it, they put their bodies, their souls, their emotions, and their humanity, and they exceeded all expectations, including ours. Now, like John said, <clears throat> some of our cast has been with us for four years since our very first workshop. A whole bunch more of them have been with us for three years. And over that time, we became a family as we tested, experimented, and shared emotional highs and lows to the bottom of the pit with our Manchester COVID shutdown. Our show was open in Manchester for only five nights, and then the government shut us down. They said, hey, go home, stay home, and we'll tell you if you can ever come back. <laughs> Is theater ever going to come back? Nobody knew. Limbo. Well, 15 months later, it did come back. They told us we could all go back on stage. And despite a whole bunch of onerous restrictions, our family came roaring back and brought the show to magnificent new heights, culminating with our glorious victory at this year's Olivier Award. That victory would not have been possible without the 200% dedication of everybody up here on stage and everybody backstage. Because as great as that award was, the greatest award that we get is from you guys. Every show, your love, your enthusiasm, your laughter, your applause, that is the award that keeps us going. That is the award that means the most to us. So thank you for your support. so much of yourself and making the show what it is. You guys have defined these roles for musical theater. And to paraphrase Doc Brown, we're really going to miss you. We're going to be sad to see you go. But thank God you're all on the cast album. <laughs> your commitment to this show. Together with you guys and your commitment and your enthusiasm, it ensures that the future will always be fabulous. So everybody, for the very last time, let's give it up for the original West End cast of Back to the Future. Thank you.